Oh, hi. <laughs> I was just educating myself about the athletes competing in the 2016 Olympics with this $13 Us magazine I bought. I have fallen down a Olympics wormhole the past couple of days. Now, I'm, I'm happy down there, you know? It's like, it's, it's like, like, I'm down here. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Because I love the Olympics, no joke. I really am worried that there will be zero jokes in this. Remember when we thought Sochi was bad news? It was, but Rio, not, ain't much better in here, kid, <laughs> right? Ain't much better in here, kid, you know? A few factoids about Rio, it is the first Olympics in South America. Woo, that's so cool, We're just not quite prepared for them. The Olympic Village, where all the athletes are supposed to stay, isn't even halfway done. The Australians are staying in a hotel. Other things, like police are showing up at the airports with signs that say, welcome to hell, because they're not getting paid, so they're like, we can't protect you if you come here. Also, people are warning that there aren't any hospitals for anyone to go to if they get injured. There's super bacteria in the water. Also, a cadaver recently washed ashore on a volleyball court. Oh, and then there's Zika. A lot of people aren't going because of Zika. Seven golfers. This is golf's first time back in the Olympics in 112 years. This guy named Bubba has a big chance of winning because all the major golfers aren't going. So, Bubba's going. Okay, did we cover golf? All right, let's get into the games of it. This guy is not a Pokemon, it's Venetius. Now, I'm gonna mispronounce, I might mispronounce a lot of things in this video, I almost just fell It's the chair. mascot for the Olympics this year, and it's supposed to depict the intelligence of a cat, the agility of a monkey, and the elegance of a bird. You, don't you see it? Track and field is a huge event in the Olympics. I can't even, I have so much to catch you guys up on. English Gardener is the name of a female American runner, like Beyonce has Sasha Fierce, she has Baby Beast. I just think it's so fascinating that Baby Beast's real name is English Gardener, and English Gardener is not an eau de toilette. Gwen Jurgensen, we should root for because she lost in London because of a flat tire. Can you believe but it? But even more impressive than that she like does a triathlon really fast is that she does it all in a swimsuit. With the big event that lasts only 10 seconds, the 100 meter dash, Usain Bolt is back and he's probably gonna win it again because he is the fastest man cheetah. But, drama. Justin Gatlin didn't get to perform in the, compete in the Olympics last time because he tested positive for doping, which he claims he did not do. He claims his masseuse put testosterone cream on his calf and that's what tested positive. The Russians will not be running or jumping because of the doping. This American Ashton Eaton is set up to win gold in the heptathlon which is a two day, just like a, a long workout, um, just two days of working out. And his wife, she's competing for Canada, but she does the heptathlon, which is seven events, but still just like so much working out. I don't, I, that, as a couple, I feel like they're insufferable. I mean, I just don't, do they, they can't have friends. They just foam roll all night long. Are we to gymnastics yet? Diving is beautiful and terrifying. China kind of has a lockdown on female divers, but the Americans said this one guy, David Budia. Budia, Budia, Budia. Just, you just say, it, just say it with confidence and repeat it three times and make it like a chant. He was almost gonna leave the sport, but then he says his wife and his kid convinced him to do it again. I just don't understand that. How you'd be like, honey, don't go to work. Go jump off a cliff. Maybe that was what happened. Maybe she was like, go jump off a cliff. And then he was like, you're right. Rio, here I come. Swimming, Ryan Lochte and Michael Phelps both had a little too much fun after the last Olympics. Now they're back and they both say they're more ready than ever. Ryan Lochte talks about sleeping all the time. Although the thing I was reading, the interview I was reading was an ad for a mattress. Ryan Lochte says he's no longer a party boy. Now he's settled down with his playboy model girlfriend. I am not judging, because I already did. Michael Phelps was going to retire, but then he gained 30 pounds, and I think he felt kind of shitty, and then he went back in the water and was like, I'm actually still pretty good. He had a kid. Guess what the kid's name is. Guess a name. Ge no, guess another name. I'll give you one, and you're never gonna, it's Boomer. <laughs> you weren't you gonna get it. Kayla Ducky is the new Michael Phelps. She does swim very fast, and she's gonna win a lot of things. In boxing, this is the first year since 1984 that men will not wear protective headgear because the headgear causes more concussions. 
I don't, I know, I don't get it either. We're all gonna wanna get behind Carlos Balderas in boxing because he won't be wearing headgear and his backstory, his backstory is, is sad. Are we two gymnasts? I wanted to be a gymnast my whole life and it's pretty much determined from the day I was born that I would not But be. I really think that I was Russian in a former life. I've talked about this before. I was much tinier and I probably was a gymnast then. Not, you know, like publicly because that wasn't acceptable then. But in my room with just like my little dogs, I probably did a bunch of flips. Because I was tiny and I could. I remember Svetlana Horkina? I loved her. She was so graceful and she looked like she was a giant because she's 5'5". Five five. Okay, to the present. We've got two returning teammates from last Olympics in Beijing. We've got Gabby Douglas who won the all around in the gold and who probably won't win because of Simone Biles. We'll get to Simone later. We've got Allie Reisman who was like the grandma because she's 22. She's known for drinking a lot of peppermint tea and going to bed at 7.30 p.m. So yeah, she does deserve that nickname. Madison Kochian who is really good at the uneven bars. So she has a chance to win gold there because that's the only event that Simone Biles isn't like the best at. And Lori Hernandez, who is so cute and so fun to watch and really good on the floor routine, all right? And she's got a lot of pizzazz and she's like totally gonna be in Dancing with the Stars in a couple of years. Did we make it? Simone Biles. They used to score gymnastics on a point scale of 10, but then a lot of people started getting perfect 10s and some routines were harder than others and they all still got 10s. So they realized they had to score it according to difficulty. Now. Simone Biles' level of difficulty and all of her routines, the points are like so high that even if she falls, she's still gonna win because, because you get it? And also there's a 41 year old Uzbekistanian gymnast whose specialty is the vault. And also what's really cool about the Olympics this year is that they have 10 members on a refugee team. There's a swimmer who escaped from Syria and there's a bunch of runners. And it just really kind of puts in perspective the American troubles are like, hey, I lack confidence. These guys are like, my hometown burned down and I don't know if my family is alive so they're all probably not gonna win because they haven't had training but uh man it's very powerful and an example of how the Olympics are so thrilling and exciting I do feel like I should have kept playing tennis but then I I realized that that doesn't make the Williams sisters not exist I call her over to me I say little girl come come to me Meet Grusha, the woman behind the tight hair in women's gymnastics. I have barrettes. 